Hi, I'm Dr. Siddhartha Nithan. I'm, I've done my MD sports medicine. I'm a practicing sports medicine physician in Cochin, in Kerala, in India. So in this video, I'll be speaking about uh, sports medicine as a whole. Uh, what defines it? What does it entail? Um, its differences between orthopedics and physical medicine and rehabilitation. Why you should visit a sports medicine physician. Uh, so coming into sports medicine, sports medicine, if you define it, uh, first thing is what we are going to do is we are going to search in Google and our best resource is always Wikipedia. So in Wikipedia, um, sports medicine is defined as a branch of medicine that deals with physical fitness and treatment and prevention of injuries related to sports and exercise is what sports medicine. So as you see in the definition of Wikipedia, given in Wikipedia, uh, there are all, it is not encompassing the whole sports medicine as a whole. It just gives a part of sports medicine as a subject. Um, there are other definitions out there um, which states what sports medicine is. Uh, definitions given by FIMS, Royal College of Physicians UK, Australasian College of Sports Physicians, UK Intercollegiate Board of Sports and Exercise Medicine. So as you can see there, there are a lot of definitions for sports medicine and uh, sports medicine is an evolving subject and that's why you see a num numerous definitions out there. Uh, what I can say about sports medicine for a definition is, it, is that it's a broad discipline. It consists of four parts basically according to me. Uh, the first part is that it is basically the management of uh, medical problems of all exercising individuals at all age levels and at all participation, at all levels of participation. Um, so over here, the basically, um, we are talking about all medical problems um, as well as injuries which can occur due to um, any form of exercise or uh, due to any medical problems which occurs um, due to exercises. Two is pathophysiology, biomechanics and optimization of human performance. Uh, use of exercise as a therapeutic model, modality in treatment and prevention of disease. That is the third definition. And the last definition is promotion of health and prevention of disease or injury at a population level. Now, this is one of the most important um, definition. Last line which has come out is the evolved part in sports medicine. Usually in sports medicine, um, the first three you would have heard of, but in the fourth part has come up and that's why the definition keeps changing. Now, all these definitions would have confused you and me explaining in detail what each one would have confused you even more. So I'll keep it very simple. So sports medicine, you can divide into three parts, suboptimal, optimal and supraoptimal. So in which suboptimal is basically where exercise due to exercise you get an injury or um, exercise is used as a part of the disease as treatment part of their disease. Um, optimal is where we maximize your wellness. So you are perfectly fine over here and you want to get better. So that is where is optimal come while supraoptimal is basically you enhance performance. And this is where if say for example you are planning to run a marathon or for an athlete he wants to enhance himself. So that's what is supraoptimal. So it's quite simple. So suboptimal, optimal and supraoptimal. So what does sports medicine entail? Uh, sports medicine consists of orthopedics, medicine, cardiology, pediatrics, gynecology. Now you must be wondering why gynecology, women's health. You're a sexist if you say if you think otherwise. Endocrinology, neurology, exercise physiology, nutrition, sports psychology, um, and etc. and etc. You get the gist of it. So it basically contains a lot of subjects, and uh, that's why we say that sports medicine is a broad discipline. So what is the difference between sports medicine and orthopedics? Um, orthopedics is basically surgical, while sports medicine is conservative. Um, orthopedicians they study orthopedics as a subject, while sports medicine study a portion of orthopedics, they study physiotherapy, they study medicine. As I told earlier, what and all subjects they study, it's basically a jack of all trades. While, but what we do is we specialize in sports and exercise. Orthopedicians do deal with sports injuries. Um, they treat it both conservatively as, as well as surgically. But what we do is that we enhance return to play and uh, enhance performance. What is the difference between uh, sports medicine and PMR? So PMR is basically physical medicine and rehabilitation. It's a separate course. Uh, so a sports medicine is basically conservative. We treat patients conservatively while uh, physical medicine also treat conservatively, but they do certain surgical procedures. So you can call, call them a mixed bag or out there. 
Um, sports medicine, to keep it simple, what is um, PMR? They basically are suboptimal and optimal, which I explained earlier. So, they deal with all forms of injuries, um, exercises uh, as a therape therapeutic model, as well as for general enhanced wellness. So, they deal with suboptimal, optimal, while sports medicine deals with both suboptimal, optimal and supraoptimal. That is, we also deal with enhancement of performance, we deal with athletes. So, this is one of the most simplest way to to separate both sports medicine and PMR. There are other differences out there also for PMR, sports medicine and ortho. If we go, it is a big lecture and so this is as simple as to, to keep it as simple as possible. These are the differences between all the three. So to conclude, why visit sports medicine physician? The first one is that um, we use exercise as our treatment modality. Um, we are conservative, um, we don't do surgery. So, if you are a little bit hesitant on surgeries, so we decide whether you require surgery or not and if it is, can be treated conservatively, we will help you um, to treat it with exercise and get you back to normal or to your best to play sports or for your regular activity. Um, if you require surgery in certain cases, what we do is we will refer you to an orthopedic surgeon or to a normal surgeon and uh, once the surgery is done, we get back you into your rehab and we accelerate it and you can return to sports or to your regular activity in a much better way. Uh, for athletes, um, the major thing is that uh, you don't have to worry about doping with us because we are trained in what drugs to be given or not to be given. But saying that as an athlete you should know what drugs to be taken to what you are taking in yourself and that is a WADA policy so but with a sports medicine doctor you know what is uh, what we give are not doping based drugs so that is quite important and uh, our main why especially why you have to visit a sports medicine doctor is basically we prevent injuries. Um, we, we are an epitome of prevention. Um, our main aim is to prevent all forms of injuries and uh, we make sure that you don't get that injury back. So um, this is to summarize the whole video as to why, um, what is sports medicine and why you need to visit a sports medicine. Uh, there are many things uh, which I might have missed out and uh, which you think is part of sports medicine. If you have got other comments, please do comment below that would help um, you know other people who are watching this video to know that there are other things of sports medicine. I've tried to make it as short as possible. Um, if you have got any other queries, please do comment below. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Um, thank you for listening. Um, I've taken all the resources from different, different journals. I've taken a few of the definitions from British Journal of Sports Medicine. Anyway, cutting it short, thank you for listening.